What's up friends? Welcome back to another video. It is finally the end of 2020. So today I'm going to be doing the end of the year book tag. So I'm just going to be sharing some of my end of the year plans. Most of them are secret because I'm doing two secret TBRs this month. Uh, so I'm only going to give you a hint, but I'm excited to do this tag. I'll have all the questions down below if you would like to do it. As always, check my description for updated petitions and donation links. Let's get started. The first question is, are there any books that you started this year that you need to finish? And that just feels like an attack, honestly, because yes, <laughs> I have Plain Bad Heroines by Emily M. Danforth. I was sent this and it's just so big and I haven't had the time to read it. I have Frankly in Love by David Yoon that I actually have a bookmark in. I started this last year and never finished it. And I would love to finish it this year because I also have an arc of his newest book, Super Fake Love Song, and I want to read that one as well. So I'm definitely going to be finishing this after the Queer Lit Readathon. I also have Color Me In by Natasha Diaz and The Silence of Bones by June Hurt, which I've been putting on so many TBRs and just not reading. So I'm hoping to prioritize these after the Queer Lit Readathon. The next question is, do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? In November for Native American Heritage Month, I read Native authors throughout the whole month. So my answer for that is just the Indigenous lit that I was reading. The last book I read was Caddy Wampus by Ash Van Otterloo, and I absolutely loved it. Um, I'll talk about it more in my end of the year wrap up. I'm going to be filming probably after this, my quarterly wrap up number two, and then you'll get my end of the year wrap up probably like the first of January, like the first week of January. Next, are there any new releases that you're still waiting for? My answer was no before I filmed this, but now I have a couple because Mason Deaver has a novella coming out, which is a Christmas themed novella. I'll have links down below for that. It is free or you can donate $2 or more and it is going to a good charity. So I can't wait for that one. Admission by Julie Booksbaum came out on December 1st. I was approved for a digital copy of it on NetGalley and I just never got around to it because I was prioritizing reading BIPOC authors. So I just didn't get around to that, which is fine, but I still wanna read it. She's one of my favorite contemporary authors. So I am excited for that one. Next, what are three books that you would like to read by the end of the year? This one was so hard because I have so many. I have way more than three. I have On the Come Up by Angie Thomas, which I really, really need to get to, um, which I'm hoping I can get to during my first secret TBR. So hopefully that happens. I was also approved for an arc of The Voting Booth by Brandy Colbert, and I really want to read that one. Like I said, I just haven't gotten around to it, um, but I would like to read it this month. Next year, my goal is to not request as many arcs just because I have them piled up and then I just never get to them. I really don't read a lot of arcs so that is definitely a goal of mine but I do really want to read The Voting Booth by Brandy Colbert. I really love her book Little and Lion so I'm excited to read this one. And then the last book is Color Me In by Natasha Diaz. This is about a biracial girl. I had this on our TBR this year. I just never got around to it and that's why it is in this video. <laughs> Next, is there a book that could still shock you and become your favorite book? Yes! The last few weeks I've found so many great books. Right now I am reading The Black Flamingo which I'll probably be done tonight and it is fantastic. Definitely one of my favorites. I'm going to be doing a top 10 best books of the year and I don't even, I don't even know what that's going to look like. It is so different from what I thought it would be in the beginning of the year which is great because I read so many great books. And the last question is, have you started putting together your 2021 TBR? Yes, like two months ago. <laughs> two months ago, I, I have it all in a notion spread. And Kayla from Books and Lala just put out her Buzzwordathon video. And so I have a whole notion spread of that as well. And a stack of recommendations on Instagram if you are looking for some. I definitely forgot some 
but maybe I'll do a video if you would like to see it. Um, I love just seeing what all the words are and I've been putting my TBR together. So that is it for the end of the year book tag. Thank you all for watching. Let me know one book that you would like to read before the end of the year. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't and I have a Patreon where you can support me and my channel for one dollar. I'm going to be building a gingerbread house this month and talking all about books on there and doing some Christmas tags. So if you can and you want to give me a present, definitely go over and do that. I wanted to hit 10 by the end of the year and I already have seven. So if you would like to, you can, but I totally understand if you can't. Thank you all for watching. I hope you're having a great day and staying safe and I will see you next time. Bye.